Harness software delivery platform provides numerous capabilities across the SDLC, including CI for builds and testing, CD for deployment automation, feature management, infrastructure as code, security testing, and so on. While we provide all of these capabilities, our platform is modular in that you can individually adopt these modules that provide value and solve a problem, and we can integrate with all the other tools that you have within your organization. Today we'll be focusing on CI, CD, and security testing use cases. In this pipeline execution, we have all the steps and stages that are required to go all the way from a developer making a code change to progressively releasing that feature out to our customers. That starts with the developer opening a new pull request in the Git repo, runs a build stage where the code is tested and an artifact is published, then we deploy to dev, promote to QA, and before we deploy to production, there's an approval gate with an integration with Jira or ServiceNow. So we cannot promote our code to production until the change management requirements that you have in Jira or ServiceNow are satisfied. Even though we passed all of our quality gates and environment promotions, we have a big red failure in production. So let's drill in to understand what happened. Continuous delivery is more than just putting new code on a server. Harness pipelines enable you to fully orchestrate all the other steps before and after the actual deployment, including enforcement of security policy. In this case, we're validating that our software bill of materials for our artifact doesn't include open source libraries with non-permissive licenses. Also, Salsa added stations to make sure that the artifact we're about to deploy has not been tampered with, and it's the same artifact that passed all of our quality and security gates earlier in the pipeline. Or policy steps to prevent new critical vulnerabilities from making it to production. Database DevOps orchestrates making the database schema changes that your app needs right in the same pipeline as the software deploy. In production, we're doing a canary deployment. Harness includes out-of-the-box advanced deployment strategies like Canary and Blue Green without any complex configuration or scripting. This allows us to reduce the risk of a deployment by only upgrading one instance in production to the new version of the app and run that side-by-side -side the old version. After we deploy that Canary release, we run AI-powered deployment verification to answer the question, is our deployment successful? This powerful capability pulls in metrics and logs from your observability tools like Datadog, Dynatrace, or Splunk, applies machine learning to it to automatically determine if we need to roll back. Here you can see we've identified unhealthy metrics like average response time and errors per minute. We've compared the metrics from the Canary release here in red with the existing version of the app here in blue, and within five minutes identified a performance problem. We also pull in your application's error and exception logs. Apply ML to that to find the needle in a haystack. Here we've identified that this runtime exception, which we have seen before in previous deployments, is now subtly happening at a higher frequency. Or this file not found exception that was unknown and has been introduced for the very first time in production with this deployment. Since we've quickly identified these errors and performance issues impacting our customers, Harness triggers an automatic rollback. Within just a few minutes, we get right back to where we were in production before this deploy started. The very first step of this pipeline was the build stage. This is where we build our code, run our tests. We also orchestrate security scans. No customer has just a single security scanner. Commonly, we hear organizations have two, three, or more across SEA, SAS, DAST, secret scanners, image scanners. Harness Security Test Orchestration includes native integrations with over 40 security tools, including open source and commercial scanners. We not only orchestrate running the scans, but also pull in all the vulnerability results, normalize and deduplicate them, and then present developers with a single pane with a prioritized list of vulnerabilities in their code. This is valuable because to me, the developer of this pull, new pull request, I can quickly see not only the security vulnerabilities that were already in the code, but also the new vulnerabilities that I have introduced in this PR. This is a key capability that enables shifting left the responsibility of preventing new vulnerabilities from making it into our code base in the first place. 
Here you can see we have all the raw details we got back from the scanner, including the fact that there's no remediation provided by the scanner. But this purple box here is the AI remediation that Harness provides on top of the scanner data. So as a developer, I now know exactly what I need to do to fix this vulnerability and unblock my pipeline. Next, I want to demonstrate how Harness CI is the fastest solution on the market, typically 8x faster, to prevent developers from having to wait for slow builds. Modern CI platforms execute pipelines in ephemeral environments that are not reused from execution to execution. This often causes build times to be excruciatingly inefficient because every build has to download and install all the dependencies and libraries that the application requires. With cache intelligence, we automatically identify the right caching strategy for common build tools like Bazel, Maven, Gradle, Yarn, NuGet. And before each build, we quickly restore the dependencies your pipeline used last time to prevent a long wait downloading packages. With Harness Build Intelligence, we automatically cache unchanged build tasks to prevent you from having to recompile from scratch every time you commit code. This greatly improves the speed the developers get feedback of failed builds. In this Java build, we were able to restore 126 of the build tasks from cache. These are optimizations that companies commonly pay for with something like Gradle Enterprise, and we provide it out of the box. Test intelligence is built on the principle that you should only execute unit tests that are relevant to your code change. You wouldn't check the oil on your car after changing your gas cap, so why run irrelevant tests? Test intelligence learns what unit tests execute which lines of code automatically. We build a model of the relationship between tests and code. Here, the purple blob here is test class, and the blue blob is code that changed, and gray is all the other code that was touched by that test. We use this model to intelligently select which tests to run based on the code change in the pull request. So instead of running all 9,600 tests, we ran just the 1,300 tests that were correlated to that code change, as well as 200 tests that were modified. The value is that now your developers get feedback if there's a failure in their tests, many times 80% faster. And with cache intelligence, build intelligence, and test intelligence, we saved over 16 minutes for this build thus giving faster feedback to developers, enabling them to get their changes to production even faster. Lastly, let's review how we created this pipeline and how we can enable you to reduce the effort of maintaining and enforcing standards within your software delivery process. I'm editing this pipeline and currently in our pipeline studio, which provides a visual editor. But everything in Harness is config as code in YAML, so you can version the pipeline YAML in your Git repo. And if you hate this UI, you can always update pipelines with a commit to Git. The prod deployment that we showed earlier that includes the policy enforcement, the change management, the advanced deployment strategies, each one of these is a out of the box scriptless step with a wizard like configuration. No longer do you need to write and manage hundreds or thousands of lines of bash scripts to achieve these advanced capabilities. Our step library includes tons of common functionality that you'll need to get started quickly, including GitOps, traffic routing, Terraform, change management, and so on. Flexible and reusable templates with pipeline governance is how we help you encourage reusability throughout your software delivery automation while enforcing best practices and standards. We've designed this perfect way to do a deployment to prod with all the security governance, advanced deploy strategies we need. But now we want to reuse it for all of our services that we're deploying to prod. We can easily save this deploy stage as a template. Name it our golden prod deploy. All of our templates are fully versioned and can be saved at either the project or shared across an organization or an entire account. This is how DevOps teams can provide standard reusable automation to an entire organization. The usage of these templates can also be enforced. Harness has embedded OPA, the open policy agent, throughout our platform. We've extended OPA, which is typically used for cloud or infrastructure policy, to now be able to be applied to pipeline policy. For instance, we can enforce OPA policies for common governance use cases like requiring approvals for prod deployment or requiring that we include our mandatory security scan templates. For instance, if I was a developer that just needed to get my code out to prod before I leave for the weekend, what would I do if I was being blocked by this approval gate? I'd probably just delete it. 
but the pipeline governance policy enforces that we must have our JIRA or ServiceNow approvals for all prod deployments. And this is how we enable organizations to give more flexibility to their developers to build and manage pipelines while still enforcing these minimum guardrails required to enforce your security or governance requirements. This has been an overview of the Harness Software Delivery Platform. Thanks for your time.